my dear sagittarius hope you all are doing fantastic so let's see what is going to happen in the month of june in your love life or in general what is the message that we have for my dear saggy here for the remaining days of june please message for my dear saggy here If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Emotions are a natural, necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so... So you've been asked, Sagittarius, that if there's something that you really want to do, what would it be? The answer is in your heart. It is not in your mind, you know. So start, so get in touch with your inner self, right? Because your inner self knows things better. You know, at times it is always better to ask yourself, what is it that you are looking forward for? And emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. We all have ups and downs, highs and lows. But because of your emotions, you know, emotions have mul multiple things come under emotions. Multiple uh, emotions makes, you know, like jealousy, hatred, boredom, excitement, happiness, sadness, anything, possessiveness, they distort your perception and actually cloud your vision because you stop, uh, because you forget the other side of the story, what the other person may be going through or other, uh, the other side of the coin, right? So in order for you to uh, see things, you must let go of the issues and try and become neutral so that you are able to see how things are more clearly so this is for my sagittarius let's see what are what is going to happen in the remaining days of june what is it that their person is thinking what is it that their person is thinking about this connection what is it that their person is thinking what is it that my sagis this is for my dear Sagis. What is it that their person most on their mind is thinking towards this connection? Okay. Three more. Okay. One more. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Cups, the Fool, and the Hermit. I feel that, uh, you know... Uh, your person has gone back into shell and uh, that is and the reason why they have gone back into shell may not be in touch as well may not be communicating or in a no com contact phase uh, maybe dealing with a virgo here but i think your person has gone back in in their shell and uh, they are trying to recover themselves for a new beginning here they want to offer you a cup of love they want to offer you love but then they want to be sure that before they go ahead and offer you love they have actually healed themselves here right so i see that they are still uh you know they feel that uh, i somehow feel that they are still dwelling your person uh, dear sages is still dwelling in their past and they are not able to see the love offer that you have actually given them. I do see that there is some kind of travel which is involved. Probably they are going on a travel here. Or probably there is some kind of communication that is coming towards you. Uh, you know, a lot of messages exchanged between you both. But they do realize that you are somebody they connect on a soul level. This particular connection is actually blessed by the uh, angels themselves. Right. Uh, can be dealing with the Gemini as well here. Possibility. Um, but I see a lot of traveling is involved. Your person is definitely traveling uh, in the remaining days of June, I feel. There is uh, or some kind of visa approval or some kind of uh, international, something to do with the international uh, trade is definitely involved here. Travel, international trade, international project, a visa approval, something to do with, with that right but uh, i feel that the, your person do understand that you know they want to recover from their past i feel to recover from their past they are going to travel you know and once they go ahead and come back in your life they are going to come back to you as well right what are your thoughts and feelings dear sagis towards this person 
Right. You want to offer them an apology. There has been some things that has happened in the past, but right now you're not communicating with them. You're keeping you're keeping your things, your stuff to yourself. You're not opening up about it at all. So, oops, I'm going to pick that. I see a reconciliation coming in the remaining days of june uh in ga- and i somehow feel that you guys may be not in a in a, in a situation wherein you guys are talking but uh, you are pretty hopeful towards this particular connection can be dealing with the aquarian here dear saji but i see that you are uh, looking for a new beginning you are looking for a very emotional deep connected beginning with this person and right now you're just looking at your life as to what is it that uh you know what kind of things which has gone da- uh, wrong in your life what things have gone right so you kind of doing a lot of self reflection in the remaining days of june there are things that did not go down well and i feel that there, there is uh, no contact period between you and him or uh, her and you are g- uh, going to go forward with an apology towards this person <clears throat> but right now you're going to be not very expressive you're going to keep your things your emotions within yourself you're not going to disclose it very easily now you're going to be like you know no i'm not going to say everything in one go i'm going to take time now i'm going to take it slow i also feel that few of you are uh, looking for some kind of investment because of which you are becoming a little stingy while spending your money but i feel uh, there is some kind of uh, just be careful because i feel that there is some some kind of loss that may come up in terms of finances or probably there is somebody who's trying to put you down and uh, win uh, some particular probably in your professional life but then uh, just be careful because i feel a uh, some kind of <sighs> treachery or probably some kind of mm, not so good uh, things happening in the remaining days of june yeah so you'll be you'll be you know probably in, at your workplace or something you'll be returning very uh feeling very uh feeling like a loser but then you are not a loser because the person who is trying to win over you they are not at all a winner they just portray they are right and i see that there is some kind of travel plans that you're also making can be a possibility and i also see can be dealing with a cancer in here and i also see that you are choosing some kind of direction in your life you know your life has been quite directionless you're d- taking a decision and i also see that you are reconciling with this person pretty soon dear sanji there is some kind of catch up that is coming up one more card for the outcome please what is the outcome uh, for my sanji with the person most on their mind please in the remaining days of june just two cards so i see that you decide okay so you are deciding to stay single in the remaining days and focus on your work here you're deciding to stay single in the remaining days of uh, june and there are a lot many challenges and you are also not ready to go out uh, from your comfort zone but there are a lot many challenges that i see in the remaining days of june will be thrown at you probably that is why we have five of swords here right so don't worry you are going to conquer nothing very big or major is going to happen whatever going to happen you will be able to uh, handle it is nothing uh, very big that sajis something that you can't handle right sajis so that's about it thank you so much for tuning in any cross watcher who is watching this video for the first time do not forget to subscribe like and share for uh, people who are who have already subscribed to my channel do not forget to uh, share like and leave a comment if this reading did resonate with you all most of you or few of you if this reading did not resonate do not try and fit into this particular reading do check out your sun moon rising and venus sign as well uh, remember that the time is fluid and uh, energies can be interchangeable uh, and vice versa and i'm open for person reading in case if you are looking for one or interested for one do hit me up on my instagram page the link is in the description box below for any paid reading i'll be happy to assist you and uh, so yeah so this is all about june remaining days i will be catching up with you in the uh, energy updates video soon so keep tuned in and thank you so much for tuning into my channel everyone all you lovely people take care 
good night good afternoon good day whatsoever whatsoever uh you know whatsoever part of the world you are bye bye